<laughs> so basically what they're saying is this stuff is non-magnetic and uh, non-conductive and uh, you can carve all kinds of shit out of it and uh, sneak it into a football game. Yep. There's my burning zombie. Those are my dead nude guys. Rob Zombie having a field day with his art design. <laughs> Looking like Spook Show International. Spook Show Baby. She's a killer. She's a thriller. Spook Show Baby. Every song on that album sounds like a goddamn opening credit sequence for an action movie. I <laughs> know, right? Just keep rewatching the opening of Spawn with the entire Hellbilly Deluxe album. You won't be disappointed. <laughs> totally. Uh, can I open these doors? It's been locked with a padlock. Use a padlock key. You no longer need to use this key. How do we know this? This is one of these big dilemmic questions. Oh, man, I hate when I'm trying to speed run the games and I accidentally cancel the discard and I'm just <laughs> carrying a useless fucking key. I know, because then you have to run to a fucking item box. How hard would it be to drop this shit out of my pocket? <laughs> Maybe I'll just make a little hole right here in my front pocket. I'll just leave the key right there. I want to say... It's the return trip when these fuckers break through the windows? Uh, yeah. It's gotta be. <sighs> the Moop Boom Boom P. Handgun. Handgun bullets. At least we know we have a handgun and not just a hug. Oh, the lighter. The lighter. Oh, yeah. Shit. It, it's my lighter. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. It's my lighter. I'm a smoker. What can I say? Gives me terrible gas. Gives me too gas. Kyle, too. <laughs> Do you have a humidifier? <laughs> <laughs> the fish upset my stomach. I need my glasses kids to go to the bed later on. I love Kyle and Kyle, too. <laughs> I want to see them in a survival situation. <laughs> Can't rub the sticks together. Give me terrible calluses, blisters on my fingers. <laughs> okay, then we deposit our alloy, or as the Spanish would pronounce it, a yoy. <laughs> yeah. 3D printing in its infancy. I know, right? I used to operate a machine like that, except mine used water. <laughs> it did. It actually used water and sand, and it would cut through Kevlar. Power jet. Fuck yeah. Duplication complete. And it looks just like the computer operating system from Resident Evil 2. You guys haven't updated. <laughs> Take the special alloy emblem. Like, I everybody got I'm brand new gaming consoles, but they couldn't upgrade to their fucking operating system. Bullshit. I'm rushing through this shit. Run, cause... run, run. Oh, oh, no. There's no way you're on the feet that quick. Ah! 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 Okay, you knocked them both over at least. Oh, uh, quit getting stuck on them. Take the metal items? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> I want all the metal items. My metal items include guns and bullets, and I'm taking them. See, I can't just say metal anymore. I have to say metal. Empty extinguisher is worth hanging on to, believe it or not, if you want the AK later. Is it really? Uh, Where do we use it? You have to reload it, and then there's a fire in the factory when you arrive in Antarctica. Oh, shit. And then you put that fire out and activate a little conveyor belt, and then you get access to the AK. Okay. It's one of those percentage weapons. You can't reload it, but it's nice to have. I mean, yeah. free ammo, survival situation, gives me terrible gas. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be the running gag for at least this section. Dogs! Fuck! Run! Oh, God. <clears throat> there's a fan fiction I don't want to read. <laughs> shit. <laughs> Uh, you want to keep yourself up late at night pondering the idiosyncrasies of man? <laughs> Read yourself a, a nice, dirty lemon story. Lemon story. <laughs> lemon apparently being an old fan fiction code for just how fuckable this thing is. No shit. They rank it by citrus fruit, or so I'm told. Really? Uh, yeah, Milady's really into. Uh, oh, Milady. God, sorry. I didn't mean to fucking trilby you guys there. Uh, my lady, my girlfriend, my lady companion, uh, we've been together forever. It's a legitimate relationship. We respect each other and enjoy our company. Anyway, um, she's really into fan fiction in varying degrees of smutness, but she's clued me into the uh, art or archive codes. Okay. And apparently, a lemon story is one where there's just jizz and genitals flying everywhere. Oh, shit. Uh, so that would, yeah, sorry, we got really sidetracked. So, on what that. would, what would be, what would a grapefruit be? Uh, uh, I'm guessing pretty benign. I didn't get too into it, but uh, apparently if you're going to whack it to a story featuring characters that were never meant to be portrayed in such a way, you're going to look for lemons. Okay, so what would like a tangerine be? I said I don't know! <laughs> I'm assuming a tangerine, you know, it's probably a short story. It's a little sweet. Grapefruit, maybe very dramatic, very bitter. Um... <laughs> Uh, tangelo, who knows what the fuck that is. Uh, and lemons are boneration. Uh, I imagine a lime is like boneration, but slightly different. 
Okay. <laughs> and this has been my exploration of the world of fanfic. Yeah. Oh. You got to appreciate the kind of love for uh, the core material it's got to take to produce some of these gems, though. Are we going to be heading back this way? Yeah, we're going to be coming back this way later on, huh? Uh, eventually, there's a little offshoot. Oh, I was going to say, I was like, grab the green herb, but I was like, you know what? You might want to leave that. Oh, well, there's two of them. Yeah. Oh, I love the stair loads. Bring back the loading screens. I don't care how action-y and high-res you get. Bring back the door and the stair loaders. Oh, totally. I'm going to keep burning through this ammo because I'm sick of all the space it's taking in my inventory. Yep. Ah, oh, shot the hard hat right off Bob. Fucking A. Can you do it? Build it? I forget what the fuck the slogan is. <laughs> Le dime, mis amigos. No, wait, that's Dora. Um, <laughs> I watch way too much kids' television. But you know what? It's non-threatening and it's educational. Yeah. I mean, where in the adult world am I going to get basic shape association? <laughs> Object permanence. It's a bitch. Here we go. All right, we're going to go put this poor bastard to death. <laughs> This asshole's in there working like shit is not going bad. Yeah. I just... I, eh. Ugh. <laughs> Doorknob. <laughs> Door loading. <clears throat> Let me know anytime you want to take over driving this puppy. Uh, let's do it. There you go. Okay. All right. I was going to say something, but I was like, if, you, if you're down, throwing down on you. I'm about to crack open the suds here. You got yourself some Imperial IPA over there? Yes, sir. It's by Dust Bowl Brewing Company. Dust Bowl Brewing. We're looking at the Therapist Imperial IPA. That's an Indi India Pale Ale. Uh, no appointment necessary. 10.4 ABV. Yeah. 10.4 uh, ABV? It's, well, it's an Imperial. This thing is hopped half to death. It's going to taste like uh, bitter citrus and flowers. I love it. Oh, man, the bow gun. Bust it out. Ah, but I still got those moop boop, 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 one OPs. But you know when you leave here that you're uh, going to set off the emergency shutter, so if you don't take it now, you're going to be locked out from it for at least an hour. Shit, let's do it. Full and inventory. Oh, but you know what I can do is I can uh, mix my herbs. Yeah. Read the file. Memo on the pass number. <coughs> the emergency door lock system in the biology experiment room can be released with a four-digit pass number. I hope you haven't forgotten about that already. Your turn. I have just received an order from the system administrator requesting us to change the pass number periodically, Eric Cartman. What <laughs> bothers me is that you often lose important memos, pass numbers, or even chemicals. So, in an attempt to solve the problem, I came up with an idea. You know that red human skeleton picture in the back of the biology experiment room? I've decided to use the number signed on the picture as the pass number. If you happen to lose the memo, just look at that picture. Well, I don't think you would ever need to use that emergency pass number. Anyway. <laughs> but just in case, now you know. Take it easy, Mr. Careless. Wow, how unfortunate that your name is Mr. Careless. <laughs> Mr. Careless? That's not the guy I trust with security. <laughs> so, Umbrella Corporation. All right, an illegally operating multi-billion dollar company... It's so hardcore about their secrets that they're like, we keep losing the fucking passwords. I'm just going to use the number that's written on the back of the wall there. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, shit. This is where we find... Oh, this is the Bandersnatch. Jabberwock. <laughs> Release me. Help the man. Oh. Is that glass bulletproof? Wow, oh, this is good. Bandersnatch. There appears to be no one around. The red picture's hanging in the back. Well, not anymore. <laughs> I can't see the number from here. Oh, uh, then you gotta um, beat the door. I, I don't want to go in there. <laughs> you can't go in there yet. I was gonna say, I was like, I don't think we need to rerun it in there with bender snatches ripping people's faces apart. As soon as you exit the room, they start the uh, isolation countdown. Oh, that's right. You gotta okay. run to the shutter. Oh, shit. So it's just gonna be to the end of the hall on the straight right. The hall in a straight ride. Circles your sprint. Sweet. Run, buddy! Fuck! Oh, you just play through the cut. This is how long it's been since I've played. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bam! <sighs> that was close. Yeah, it was close. 
This you is the way Laura Croft should have played in the Tomb Raider game. I know, right? If you were Indiana Jones, you wouldn't have got your hat back. That's how close that shit was. Oh, man, I don't even want to think about getting the ponytail stuck in the shutter game. <laughs> oh, God, man. Just have to <clears throat> blast it off with your pistol because you didn't start with a knife. Right. All right, which way did we come through? Did you come through this uh, way? You're going to want to go through that door. This one? Yeah. Okay. Pardon my manners. Terribly sorry. It's all right. It's all about birching, belching, and farting on it. Let's play by... Oh, fucking Christmas. <laughs> Focus, man! Die with you! How embarrassing you get snuck up on by a dead corpse. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, your belching made me want a sip of my beer. <laughs> You're about to take it to the skies there. <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god. Listen, you reanimated corpses, I'm sick of your bullshit! <laughs> so for those of you wondering, those pistols she's using uh, use a, a helical-style magazine. Uh, you might have noticed it if you're a Call of Duty fan, the uh, helical magazine showing up on the PP... Uh, 09 M1 Ava. Fuck it. I know you're going to correct me on the number. I don't care. <laughs> that thing where you got to change the beer can on the bottom. Mm. It's a pretty cool design. Let's you stuff a whole bunch of rounds in a small spot. Look at all those goddamn cockroaches. <laughs> Somebody needs to call the motherfucking exterminator. Well, roaches will outlive us all. Let's grab some arrows from his crotch. You can't take him yet. Son of a bitch. That's right. I got to mix these herbs. Well, check the green herb. Yeah, well, that's a green herb. This was made by breeding the herb from Raccoon City. Good old plant fucking. All right. Gregor Mendel's legacy lives on. Yep. So I still got 30% on my moops. My moop 100 peas. And what else am I missing in this room here? Uh, I think there's a first aid spray in one of those lockers. But you might as well leave it. You're carrying a dual herb. Yeah. You're going to have to collect some How's shit. My health? You're fine. I'm fine. She is 5.54 feet tall. She is almost as tall as I am. <laughs> I'm super. Thanks for asking. Me being 5.75 feet tall. <laughs> I'm not a tall guy. Far from statuesque. I'm like a bust with legs. <laughs> I want to click onto my inventory screen and check my health, and it just says super. <laughs> See, the nude zombies make sense in here. Obviously, it's some kind of bathos. Everybody's cruising. Check your Craigslist. Flash your headlights <laughs> twice. But why the hell is the mass grave full of nudists? <laughs> right? Hey, sauna. There's a lot of hot air inside. Well, I would hope so. Hot air, steam, humidity. You know, all the things you need for preserving a corpse. It's got to smell uh, amazing in there. Oh, you puking piece of shit. <laughs> I, I think he's dead. Yeah. Well, you better be dead. He's dead, Fucking Jim. vomiting shit nasty motherfucker. I do not want to get in that water. Um, I think there's like that electrocutioner thing. Well, no, because you gotta shut off the fountain at the, the water valve. That's and then you right. gotta hump in there and find a key. Oh, that's right. Oh, so you gotta get in the water to get to the valve. Come on, Claire. Jump in the water now. Forward and X. Forward and X. There we go. All it takes is one zombie to fall in that thing, and it's just man flesh soup. Yeah. And there's so many, there's so much pee in there. <laughs> Look at all how yellow it is. It's just pure pee. <clears throat> all that urea, all that T virus. Yeah. Oh man, probably wouldn't be that hard to get Ebola from those things too. <laughs> right, right. Bring the death count up to three. Go ahead, Claire. Dunk your head in there. <laughs> Remember when we were supposed to give a fuck about that? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that's the key to the locker back in the offices that'll get you, I want to say, some gunpowder for firebolts. Oh, that's right. We got to do gunpowder A, B, and C in this one, huh? Uh, not A, B, and C. It's just going to be for the bolts. Okay. Wait, isn't this... Oh, that's... I'm thinking of three. Never yeah, you're mind. thinking of three when you got to combine all that shit. Yeah. Most unnecessary system ever. Totally. This is a pain in the ass. I want to love 3, but I'm so bad at it because it, it requires such a greater degree of caring than I'm used to. Yeah. I'm here for the story. I don't want to learn how to micromanage my inventory like that. Totally. All right, so which locker? There's some bolts for me. 
I like the boats. Still full up. But I got the boats. Oh, shit, that's right. Okay. Gotta use up those 100 P's, that way you can ditch them. Right. And then that's gonna be an A. No, that's also boats. I got lots more boats. One of those has a healing item in it. It's probably around on the far corner. I, just, I thought I saw something flickering. Maybe it's just my TV. Nah, fuck it. Uh, let's go back to the office. Okay. How are you going to have a locker room for a bunch of mercenaries without a single derogatory uh, piece of artwork up? <laughs> I know, right? Where's the, where's the you know, the, the scantily clad women trying to sell me Bud Light? <laughs> yeah, right? It's just the kind of thing you see hung up in those rooms. Yeah, totally. Put a cowboy hat in her, sell me a Corona. This is Umbrella, you know? They're all fucked up and shit. Uh, that's the door. This one right here. That run right there, yeah. Private Investigator Magnum P.I. Or Tracer Bullet, or whatever the hell you want to call him. Oh. No, he's on the ground. He's on the ground. Oh, shit. Yeah, shoot him right in his ass. Shoot him right ass. in his ass. Print up a map right there. That's my zombie call. They're all dressed like train conductors. And we have killed the goons. Well, might as well go for the Beretta then. We'll ditch the 100s at the first chance. Yep. I wish you could drop those like a key. You can't reload them. I know, right? <laughs> These weapons are useless. Do you want to ditch them? <laughs> Hell yeah. You still moving? I think he's dead. He's Look for the telltale right. puddle. Yep. Locked. Use the key with the tag. So instead of picking up the powder, you should go back to the locker room, pick up the bolts, combine uh, those with your bow gun, and then come back for the powder. Gotcha. Let's do it. Then we manage your inventory. I'm going to take a brief aside, and I'll be right back. Okay. I'm going to be imitating your voice while you're gone. Go for it. <laughs> so we're just going to make our way back to... The locker room. The men's locker room. So, what do you think about the game so far, Burrow? Well, I think the game's a lot of fun, actually. I, just, uh, I saw nothing like the Burrow, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and then present. I'm very short. Yes, yes, that's me. My beanie, it doesn't fit my skull. Alright, so we gotta get in here and... Pull some gunpowder and shit. So I need boats. I like the boats. The boats is good for my nuggets and shit. Then there's this other one. It has the... It is this one. <coughs> for the bow gun. The bow gun is basically a crossbow. And it shoots, I think, uh, three bows at once, actually. So, let's get through this door. Head back to the office. Which way is the office? Well, I think it's that door right there. Got any snarky condoms, Burrow? In case of, uh, when life gives you lubricated condoms, make lubricated condom aid. Thank you very much for that. Damn, they're just giving me bowgun bolts left and right. I got some more bowgun bolts. All right, so... You're going to got... need them as you fire three at a time. Yeah, that's right. So basically, we got 30 rounds. Is what we... we got 30 shots. All right, and, so... Yeah. But now I still have a full inventory. You can, If you combine those bows with your bowgun, it should hold all of them. Really? Let's see. Yeah! Oh, fucking A, 120. And then when you combine the powder with your bow gun, it'll pull out a predetermined amount of fire bolts. Fucking A. There you go. It's been a while since I've been out of this game, but I remember the important shit. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And then now, of course, your inventory is full again. <laughs> yes. That's okay, because I'm going to combine 
Oh, Kill them. okay. And then you can recombine with the standard bolts to pull them back out. It's grenade launcher style. Gotcha. <sighs> Claire always got the cooler weapons. Oh, totally, man. Yeah. Because Leon got the shotgun, she got the bazooka. Right, she got the grenade launcher and the, the bow gun. Whereas uh, Leon got the Desert Eagle and the, the Remington. All right, well, since you took a pee break, I'm going to take a pee break. <clears throat> well, thank you for announcing it to the world. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking a piss! I'll be back momentarily. Terrible, terrible piss. Terrible, terrible piss. All right, I'm going to try to find an item box. All right, I'm going to prep up a map of this building as it's shown on the monitor. <sighs> Unfortunately, it's not a dot matrix, so you don't get that magical symphony of bubble jet. But, hey... Can't complain. So we're just about ready to make first contact back at the mansion. Uh, quick look at my inventory. It says that can't come too soon. Gonna go ahead and escape these subterranean worms and uh, super terranean dogs. Holy Jesus! things I really miss in Code Veronica uh, despite everything else ah, that it does so well is uh, just the critical headshots uh, would be nice to get a random uh, head pop off the pistol here just as a little gimme a little love because otherwise these things soak up bullets and the only reason I'm wasting them on them right now is because I'm so so tired of dodging them when I don't have to it. Doggies. I'm not being aggressive. I'm being dominant. I'm being dominant. See, now he's calm and submissive. He's just, you know, happy to lay around and bleed. <laughs> Uh, let's see how much ammo did I just waste on those dogs. A bunch. A bunch looks like Jesus. I see what you start to talk about with them hundred peas. Yeah. All right, we're gonna go pick up the luck of the Irish here. Whatever this green blink of a jig is. Oh, it's that um, it's that that seal. We need that to get to the uh, the tailspin plane. The the sub evader. Yes. This is the first time we meet our uh, benevolent dictator, if you will. Mm -hmm. Our. Psychotic European billionaire. Uh, his voice is like the silvery strings of madness strewing upon my genitals. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna equip the old lighterino. We need that for the bats. Back up. Take I'm, this key card. I'm gonna collect the ammo. Uh, I gotta run up to the storage box, unload some of this superfluous crap, then I'll that's, come back down and be productive. There we go. That's right, that's where we find the golden lugers. Or no, the golden lugers are in that other room. We gotta use the golden lugers there later. Right, they're in the trophy room. Steve Burnside, being the uh, intrepid explorer that he is, decides, <laughs> oh, well, fuck it, let's bring a giant rolling boulder. <laughs> that's right. More ammo, or as the uh, Spanish pronounce it, ammo. <laughs> Right, ditching those, ditching that for later. Yeah, buddy. I'm gonna hang All on to the crossbow. Right. Let's grab a save while we're here. Let's grab a save while we're here. Ink ribbon. Uh, we have another ink ribbon in the item box, don't we? We do. I'll combine it with this one. Okay. Memory card slot A. God damn, do I miss a good memory card. Yeah, right? As I'm told, they exist for the current generation. They just call them thumb drives. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's true, actually. I know, I miss memory cards, too. 
It's just fun to have them. Yeah. Felt so. Eh, well, I don't know where the ink ribbon went. Uh, I don't know that we ever got another one. Now that I think about it. <clears throat> was that one in the prison of single use? I think so. I think that was our first just to get you going. This is how attentive we are. Secretary, nope. Four years have passed since I began serving Sir Alfred. He doesn't trust anyone. Even though I am his attendant, I am still strictly prohibited from entering his private house. What is his problem anyways? They say he lives with his twin sister Alexia in his private house on the hill. Twins. Occasionally, I've seen someone standing by the window of the house. It might have been Alexia, whose extreme beauty is often talked about. I shudder to Google this shit. <laughs> I once asked Sir Alfred about this, but it only enraged him. Even though I am his attendant, he will not show me any lenience. If I ask about her again, I could put my life at risk. After all, it is a mystery why he so desperately tried to keep his private life with Alexia a secret. Robert Dawson. Oh man, I'm so hot. <laughs> you filed the secretary's note. <laughs> Good work. Make it so, number Claire. <laughs> There's evidence that this shelf has been moved. I'm gonna go ahead and move it further. Cause you got some shiny bling bling on the ground now. That's right, I got key the card. ID card. Take this key card. You might be able to lock some doors in the hall with this. No go. Just <clears throat> go. <laughs> oh, poor Paul Simonon. Wow, look at all those resolutions. I can read the <laughs> shit out of that. <laughs> right. An ID card for an umbrella employee. NTC 0934. So this should give us PC access as well as some other things. Totally. There's the uh, iron gate plate for the uh, Golden Lugers. The Golden Lugers of Lugerdom. Burnside will so haphazardly democracy his way through. Well, the majority of me wants these guns. <laughs> no relation to Lex Luger, the total package. <laughs> <laughs> He's broken so many guitars over vintage heads. <laughs> right. <laughs> hey, he's no Ric Flair, though. Yep. Whoa. Bats. Bats can't touch me. I got a lighter. They afraid of fire. For some yeah. reason. Flying rats. They like evil pigeons. I can't rhyme that shit. Yeah. It's a widget. Tell them. Tell them. Yeah, boy. Uh, let's not. <laughs> I am no flavor flair. Uh, I need a briefcase. And good bullets. See, this is one thing that Resident Evil's missing is a little bit of that zombie revenge enthusiasm. Bullets, antidote, shotgun, machine High fiber gun. muffin, <laughs> muzujima, a moose bush. <laughs> There's no time. Player I'm, two needs food badly. I love zombie revenge. I love gauntlet. <laughs> Security lock system is active. Enter an employee ID or some shit. I oh, I got to keyboard this. I see it was N NTC 0394. See, this is where short-term memory really pays off. Uh, NTC 0384. See, I told you. It's exactly what I just said. NTC 0394. 0394. <clears throat> Please enter your email address. Oh my god, I've had this thing for so fucking long. The DC zero, three nine four. Eat that shit. Would ask you for a ten year old email address just because you want to download a fucking demo. <laughs> right. But how are we gonna email you about your purchase? Please wait. Apparently, it is seven forty. Nope, that's measuring minutes. <laughs> ID verification has been confirmed. Kind of. Security system is deactivated. <clears throat> This is how we're going to encounter all the bender snatches running around. I don't entirely remember where it is I need to go from this point. So this would be fun. <laughs> Exploratory. Secured by a simple lock. If I had a lock pick or Jill Valentine, I could open it. Uh I gotta turn in the hemo. Oh, where do we collect the hemostat? Oh, that's right. We gotta um Shit, we gotta take that back to Lou Bega, and uh, <laughs> he'll trade out our lighter. A little bit of hemo in my step, a little bit of blood medicine in my vein. Oh man, what if it was like a Samuel L. Jackson? <laughs> I'm tired of all this motherfucking bleeding on my motherfucking shirt. <laughs> Say blood again. <laughs> Say it one more goddamn time. <laughs> 
<laughs> Zombie motherfucker, do you speak it? <laughs> this has been Pop Culture References. <laughs> yeah. Today's topic, Tarantino movies. <laughs>